Hi friends, how are you? Welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new. I'm happy that you're here. I appreciate you coming to spend some time with me and do some memory planning with some stickers. I am going to do a plan with me using a Scribble Prints Co. Mystery. Um, this one has been reformatted. It's in shop under pool vibes. So if you like it, you can get your hands on it. A couple things changed, you know, I mean, obviously the format, um, I think the bottom washi changed, but pretty similar, so you can get it. Um, sorry for the clicking noises. My dog Luna is here, of course. She's got to come and sit right by me anytime I do a voiceover and get pets the whole time. Um, <laughs> she's so cute. She's just like grinning at me right now. I should post a picture of her in my stories. I think I might do that. Um, if you haven't seen it or didn't come from there, I do have an Instagram. It's the same as it is here. C underscore loves planning. So you can check out more video or sorry, more pictures there. And yeah, I think I'll post a little picture of my happy Luna doing a voiceover with me. She's so funny. Um, anyway, so this kit, yeah, I had the uh, mystery. It came with a sparkly orange foil bundle. Um, the pattern on that one was stars. I wasn't like 100% sure how I felt about stars with this, but the color of it is perfect and just kind of went for it. But I also brought in that sparkly pink foil bundle, um, even though that one's not stars, so I couldn't do like a manual mixed metal for uh, the bottom washi. I just thought bringing in pieces of each color would be cute. I like the way it turned out. It's, I don't know, it's a lot going on. It's maybe a little busy, but that's, you know, kind of how I roll. I sort of have no chill with foil. So, you know, mixed metal it is, and I like it. And I also wanted to pull in the pink foil because I had a couple of freebies. Sorry, when is adjusting. <laughs> um, I had a couple of freebies from shops where the, they were like a summer theme, so that really matched and in a pink color. So I'm like, oh, if I bring in a pink foil bundle, then I can bring in those freebies too. And I'm really glad that I did. Um, both of them were perfect. Uh, the first one, I can't remember if they've, I'm not sure if they've come across the screen yet. Sorry, I keep looking at my dog and my planner um, going back and forth. So they might have made an appearance yet, I'm not sure. But the first one was from Kristen's Planner Co. Uh, I used the quote from it on the tall box in my sidebar and it's just perfect. I think it's so cute there. I like it's in that sparkly pink which is so pretty and it balances out the pink flamingo at the bottom of that tall box. Like I just think it's so cute. And it was really nice too because on that freebie she included the month. So I was able to have a sparkly pink month up in the corner which I feel like whenever I do colored foils like special fun colors they that's like one downside is I usually don't have a month to match but super exciting that I did this time uh, the other freebie foil freebie that I was able to pull in because of the sparkly pink was from uh, planner pixie co and that one was super cute it had like a pink flamingo floaty which obviously is perfect for this kit oh there it is there it is um, and then those like wave header overlays I thought were super cute too. Um, I ended up putting them on the yellow column. Um, in hindsight, I don't know, I maybe wish I would have put them on the lighter teal just because that's halfway. I think maybe the halfway point would have been cuter, but I just thought the yellow on top or the pink on top of the yellow would pop a lot and it does and it's really cute. but. You know, the OCD in me of wanting everything to be even. <laughs> I maybe should have scooted it over a row, but that's okay. It's cute. And I'm so excited to be using this kit finally. I, when I saw this mystery and got my hands on it, I was so, so excited because it's just so cute. I love the theme of it. I love the colors, like just the vibes of this. It's so much fun. I love the tall box, like everything about it. 
Um, and because I liked it so much, I just kept holding on to it every time. You know, I mean, well, so first of all, last year I did an all Disney planner. So I was hoarding it all that year. But, you know, just kept thinking, I've got to use this when we have the perfect pool party. Like, it's got to be big enough and fun enough and for an event and, like, all this sort of thing. Like, anytime friends just came over and we had a casual party, it didn't feel important enough. <laughs> um, which I, I just, yeah, I've talked about it before. I got to stop doing that. So... Just went for it, used it, but I think it was really fun here because it's kind of kicking off summer break for my kiddos. So um, they actually, they ended up finishing school on different days, which is weird, but it's because my youngest doesn't go every day. She's in preschool, so it's not an every day for her. So she finished first, but that happened over this spread, which is fun. So, you know it's kind of, that's important, right? Like it's kicking off the start of summer. So, oh, sorry for that break. Um, real time. I just got some super, super exciting news. Um, I'm super happy. Uh, but yeah, anyway, sorry. I'm like, I'm gonna try to stop just grinning like an idiot and get back into this. I'm really excited. Um, anyway, I, let's see. Oh, I just put up the stars on the top, I thought kind of balancing out the two stars would be good. So there's some on top and some on bottom. Since I can't do a manual mixed metal and then I could do pink at the bottom. Um, and there's that cute quote, the Here Comes the Sun from Kristen's Planner Co. And the pink month, which I, I just, having those two touches there made me really, really happy. I think they added a lot to the spread, right? Like, don't you think? I feel like... Those were definitely the perfect little cherry on top there. Um, anyway, and then I add another one. You know, I do another thing off that freebie in the sidebar you're going to see. And then I put another one in the pool scene just to spice that up a little bit too. So even more coming from that freebie. And then, oh, me up here starting the sidebar. I don't know if I put in the quote that I'm going to put there yet. I don't think so. Um, oh, that pink flamingo one. I felt a little bad putting it under uh, an extender, like a little flippy box, because then it's not front and center, but I don't know. I thought having a floaty on top of a floaty was a little weird, but it matched too perfectly to not use it in here somewhere. So anyway, it got hidden a little bit. Um, and sorry for that jump. I thought my camera was on and it was not. So let me hurry and catch up. Um, we la left off uh, the pride freebie with I was getting ready to go do something. So here we are back on a Saturday. We were going to a barbecue at a friend's house. So we stopped to get cookies to bring for everybody to share. And then that little once more with love, uh, just marking that we were there at the barbecue. And on our way home, that little fireworks, that's actually from a once more with love 4th of July sheet. Um, but just marking that as we were driving home, there were fireworks going off. So we were just watching them as we were driving back. It was really fun. Um, then the girls did a sleepover and the little laughing munchkin. So, okay, if anybody's seen on Netflix the show, I'm pretty sure it's just called Creature Case. Anyway, my girls were on a kick with it for a few days there. And they must do like fist bumps in the show or something. Because that's, you know, some little kids are really into it. My daughter never really is. Like, she's not the type that somebody goes, oh, here, give me bones, and puts out their hand where she's, like, excited to do it. Like, that's just not really her. But she was going to bed, and she was exhausted, like, could barely keep her little eyes open. And I said goodnight and gave her a kiss, and then she, she like, held up her fist and, like, whispered with her eyes barely open. She goes, creature case. <laughs> so I gave her a little fist bump, and she smiled and, like, instantly passed out which I thought was just so funny. Creature case, the little fist bump. Um, anyway, and then my husband and I were watching Harry Potter. That's the love potion from Stick With The Plan Co. Then Sunday, um, Sunday was really fun. I had a friend's birthday party, which I feel like every time I'm marking birthday parties, it's for my kiddos going to birthday parties. But this was one uh, for one of my friends, which was fun. So I woke up and got ready 
and then drove over to my friend's house. We had like snacks there before and did like a little group picture and, you know, hung out for a minute while we waited for everybody. And then we drove together up to a distillery, which was really neat. And then that little uh, bus that was, ooh, I'll make sure I tag it, sorry. It's really hard coming up with these off the top of my head. Like even ones that I know, I feel like if I was putting it in Instagram, like my fingers would just know where to go to the name. But anyway, sorry. Uh, but we took a shuttle up, like they have a big parking lot and the distilleries up even higher. So you park in the parking lot and then they like take you up this twisty, but beautiful, like scenic drive to the distillery, which was really neat. And then I put that little Jenga uh, doodle there. That's from Carly Plans. It was really cool. I think it was made from old barrels because they were just gigantic wooden pieces. They had this like made Jenga in their front lobby. So like while you wait, we were sitting there playing Jenga with it. I should try and post a picture of that one too, just because it's so neat. It's huge. Um, and then that stick with the plan co. I put, you know, just a little person with a ticket. I thought that kind of made sense for a tour. I don't really know what else I would have used for a tour. I think it works, right? Um, so yeah, we were there to do a tour of the distillery. And then under that flap, I went too slow, sorry. Um, we did a flight tasting. Um, it, so it was a whiskey distillery which is weird. I'm not really a whiskey drinker, but uh, the friend whose birthday it was really wanted to come and do this. So we showed up and tried the whiskey. <laughs> and I was actually kind of surprised that you could taste differences between everything. So anyway, so we did that and then went to the gift shop. Sorry, you can't see any of this because I went too slow as always. Um, but then we drove to another part that was more um, downtown from there and had burgers at a bar and then I made it home and the whole thing like it was really really fun but it just ended up taking a lot longer than I thought it was going to so by the time I got home the girls were like dying to see me and it was really cute and so we just played for a really long time we were playing mermaids and yeah it was cute um, and then we did wiggle carts outside I don't know if anybody else knows what a wiggle cart is um, but yeah, they're fun. <laughs> it's sort of like a, I don't even know how to describe it, like a cross between a tricycle and a scooter, but you like sit on it and it's low down to the ground. But anyway, we were playing on wiggle carts and then I marked that we did an extra cuddly double story time. I've mentioned before, I usually read to my girls individually at bedtime, but sometimes we all snuggle up and read together. So we've been doing that a lot more lately. Um, but yeah, um, then this column that I'm working on, we moved on to Monday, uh, started the morning with doing a voiceover and then that stick with the plan co mermaid. I thought she just looked really cute here and the colors kind of match and, you know, summery vibes, but just marking that I got a call from my sister. So we chatted for a long time. Um, one of my older sisters and then below that, the little munchkin holding a baby, one of our friends had their baby. So Welcome to the world, little one. That was exciting. And then below that, another stick with the plan code, doing laundry. I was doing lots and lots of laundry. Uh, then Starbucks run. I liked using that little coconut drink to market, even though, you know, obviously those are kind of different types of drinks, but I thought it was really cute. Um, then a grocery run below that flap that, sorry, you can't see anymore, but just uh, playground with my girls. That was a doodle from Carly Plans, if you remember seeing that when it was showing. Um, and then I put WTF phone. It was really weird. My phone like froze and usually, like I've had that happen before, but I could just, you know, hold the buttons down and turn it off and then turn it back on. But this time it like, when I pushed the button to try to turn it off manually, it beeped at me like it made an alarm type sound. So it was just stuck. Like I couldn't turn it off. I couldn't do anything. Um, it was really bizarre. I can't, I think we ended up Googling how to fix it. And it was like, you push the up button twice and then hold the power button or something like that. But it was really bizarre. I've never seen my phone do that. Um, and then Tuesday, 
Oh, I put a sleep in with that little rushing munchkin. <clears throat> Excuse me. We just all slept in and then we're kind of in a hurry to get to school. Um, then I put that one of my videos went live and then a little stick with the plan co mom and baby. My youngest isn't a baby, but that's okay. I use all my baby stickers for her anyway. I'm um, just marking that we had a lot of playtime. We were doing like playing on the swing and we were doing scooters. We made a smoothie together. We were doing Play-Doh and pretending it was a restaurant and you know, just all kinds of stuff. Oh, and then I'm not sure at what point that happened, but that little hello summer that I put in the pool, that was also from the Kristen's Planner Co. freebie. So I thought that looked cute. It, you know, sort of like a little floating quilt almost. It could have gone in the sidebar, but I already had what I wanted to put in the sidebar. So I wanted to use it somewhere. I thought it looked cute there. Um, anyway, and then below that we went to Target. I made lasagna and I put a little star with helicopters. Like it was just kind of crazy. There were those like big military helicopters flying overhead. And I think we saw like eight of them in a row. It was like almost enough to be kind of frightening, but cool to see them too. So anyway, I marked that. Uh, then we did a family sleepover. Just the girls came in and we, yeah, all had a sleepover. Then the pink column moving into Wednesday. That morning I made waffles and we did pictures. That's the little like camera from the foil bundle. Um, just marking that we took last day pictures of my youngest, which I really kind of wish I shared their faces now because the grumpy look she was making in that picture is so freaking funny. I ended up, you know, we ended up getting a smiling one too, but oh my gosh, I love the grumpy picture that we had at first of her. It's so funny. Um, anyway, and then my husband's car got a flat tire and then I just did that little scribble Prince Co girl with the shopping bags. I was running all over getting end of year gifts for the teachers. You know, they earlier in the year, they give you a piece of paper that says their favorites of things. So I was running all over getting those. Um, sorry, I went way too slow. This is going to go fast. Um, and then the little salty munchkin, just something I don't want to get into. I did a workout playground again with my girls. And then I did the once more with love munchkin going so cute because my youngest like climbed up on this net thing and she goes, mom, look, I'm a spider. <laughs> um, and then we got ice cream and then the little sad girl crying. My daughter left one of her toys at the playground. We immediately went back for it, but it was already gone and she was really upset. Um, and then the little mom and daughter hugging, she brought home her school journal and that was like the sweetest, most heartwarming thing ever to read. Like her posts about how much she loves her family, about how much she loves her sister, about how great her parents are. And then like a few of her friends from school, like their mom sent me pictures of things their kids had written about my daughter, about how we're being nice. And that just like warmed my heart because I, oh, the world needs more nice people. So I I'm so proud of my daughters for being some of those nice people. Um, anyway, and then my husband had softball and then my youngest said she wanted to write a note to the leprechaun. And I was like, oh yeah, what's your note to the leprechaun going to say? And she said, I love you. Never come again, <laughs> which I thought was really funny. Um, anyway, and then finish the night with doing dip on my nails. So there you have it. That's the spread. Thank you so much for being here. I hope I get to see you again in the next one. Bye.